Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. The Giants gameplay launch trailer has just been released, and there's also been another video released by Treyarch alongside it. It's a brief history of Call of Duty Zombies. It just shows some gameplay from the maps that we're all familiar with from Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, the interesting thing is that about 20 seconds into that video, it completely decides to throw us for a loop and shows us something we have never, ever seen before. This is a history of zombies that is meant to be very familiar, and we're shown this. For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about right now, I'm going to explain at some length, so buckle up, this is gonna be a fun one. The very existence of this image is suggestive of the fact that there is a possibility we're going to be getting a remade version of Moon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 at some point in the DLC season. Now, that is a huge, huge statement, and it would be wrong for me to say that and not justify it, so that's what I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes doing. Back in February of this year, 2015, Mark Lamia, studio head of Treyarch, gave a talk about Treyarch Zombies and how it has evolved over the years. It was super interesting, it really was, and there were multiple things in there, easter eggs, that were hidden for us to find, that have sort of given us an idea of some of the things that Treyarch have planned for the next 12 months. One of those things was the giant. They showed us an edited version of the Doris loading screen that we had never, ever seen before. The significance of this cannot be understated. We also got a screenshot of a wall gun that we had never seen before, and it turns out that was a screenshot from the giant, from this remade Doris map. So their way of telling us, before they'd even told us that Black Ops 3 was going to exist, we were going to get Shadows of Evil, the giant, none of that had been announced at this point, their way of giving us that information was by showing us an edited version of a loading screen. Bear that in mind. That is absolutely not all. There is a lot more from that dice talk that we could talk about, and I'm going to bring one of those things up now because recognizing the gravitas that it lends to this situation is vital for understanding why I'm so excited about this. We saw, somewhat by proxy, it wasn't a direct shot of their screen, of their slides, but we saw an edited version of the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Origins trailer. In that trailer, we're being introduced to this new set of four young characters for the first time. We, in theory, hadn't met Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Richterfen in their young forms before that point. And so we're meeting them, but then in this edited version of one of those shots, all four of their faces are lined up, but Richterfen has been scribbled out. I'm sure many of you watching this video didn't even know that this dice talk happened or existed or was related to zombies in any way, but mark my words. This crossing out of Richterfen is no happy coincidence, right? He's been crossed out, and then fast forward a few months, the giant trailer happens, and Richterfen gets shot in the face by himself. It's like that classic TV trope of someone trying to change the past by crossing people's faces out of photos, or cutting photos and stuff like that in half so that you don't get the full picture. That is what is happening here. Somebody clearly wants Richterfen erased from that moment in time. That is the impression that I get at least, and that is what I think is commonly accepted by people right now who have observed this weird little thing that Treyarch have shown us. And so I think that in the same way that there have been edits made to images we're very much used to, and Richterfen has been removed and crossed out from those images, and then those edits have come to fruition and have come true and are now our accepted reality, in that same way, the moon loading screen also shares this very uncanny and unsettling significance because it has been edited, and it's been edited in such a way that Griffin Station no longer exists. Samantha's shadow is no longer there. Where is it instead? It's on Shangri-La. When I first noticed this, right, I was watching through the video and I saw that they showed the moon loading screen, but there are no other loading screens really highlighted in the trailer. It was just lots of gameplay clips and then the moon loading screen. It made no sense to me. So obviously I went through and paused it 
and realized that this is quite big. It's easy for us to say, oh, it's just an image, or oh, it's just a change to the loading screen, maybe it's concept art, but I just cannot get on board with that. I absolutely wholeheartedly believe that not only is this intentional and meant to be taken as a hint from Treyarch to us, but I also think it's probably quite important for them that this is brought to our attention in the right way, because they didn't talk about this at all. If we look at that DICE talk and the way they marketed it on their social media channels, they didn't say, hey guys, we might be teasing a new map here. Or hey guys, we're gonna change the past of the Call of Duty Zombies storyline by changing the future and forming a new timeline in which Richtofen kills Richtofen and as such, he can't complete the Black Ops 1 story arc and it's all gonna come to a head in Black Ops 3. They didn't do that at all. They slipped these images in and we nearly didn't even see them. At Comic-Con, they gave a load of information out about Black Ops 3 Zombies, but they did it in such a way that hardly anybody saw it. There is information from that Comic-Con panel that we will never ever know because they didn't record it. They didn't post that information on social media. They didn't transcribe the interviews that happened and write down everything that was said about Call of Duty Zombies, the past, the present, and the future of the mode. They just went, eh, yep, it's a one-off event, and that's the way it's gonna be. That's the way the community is gonna have to get its information about zombies. And I think that this is another case of that happening. Ultimately, this trailer doesn't contain anything at all that is new apart from this one screenshot of an altered moon loading screen. This is quite obviously not Treyarch's way of saying, well, do, 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 we've got a new map for you all, huzzah! But rather, I imagine the internal conversation in Treyarch went something like this. So, Jason, what's that, uh, that image for? Why are you putting that weird and edited version of the moon loading screen in a trailer that otherwise contains absolutely nothing new and is full of gameplay that the fans have been watching over and over for the last eight years? Jason looks this person in the eye, glances at Craig Houston, who's sitting across the table from him, the lead writer for Zombies, and then looks back and smiles. And that's it. That's his entire explanation. That pretty much summarizes the very ethos by which Jason decides what we get and how we should get it. He's scheming constantly, going, yeah, let's give them that. That doesn't make any sense. Let's give them that. That is super weird. Let's give them that. But let's not make a big deal of any of these things, and let's just let them fight around in the scraps, in the dirt, until, ta-da, suddenly, a theory that makes sense and that joins everything together will emerge, and voila you'll get your zombies maps. I'm gonna be talking in a separate video about what all these changes to the loading screen mean, namely why Samantha's shadow is now on Shangri-La, why Griffin Station is gone, and what all the little intricate changes to the boxes mean as well. That's gonna be its own video posted to my channel very soon, so if you wanna get it all explained, make sure you're subscribed. Yep, subscribe, one more time. Water wait, no, subscribe, that's the word I was looking for, and hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.